let's do a little thought experiment. I want you to imagine all the matter in the universe. I'm going to define matter as anything that you can see or feel. So around us, that includes the trees, the buildings, the tables and chairs, and even you and me. It even includes the air that surrounds us. Now repeat this on the scale of the universe. Think of the trillions of stars in the billions and billions of galaxies out there. All this matter that we have trouble even imagining adds up to just 15% of the total matter in the universe. So what is this other 85%? The answer is dark matter, a concept that has puzzled scientists for decades. It is true that today we know a lot more about dark matter than we did in the early 1900s when it was first discovered. And yet, there is so much more that we need to learn. If dark matter cannot be seen or felt, then how do we know that it exists? We know this for a fact because it interacts with ordinary matter through gravity. That is our handle and the only handle that we have in trying to understand it better. Imagine you're on shore and you're looking out towards an iceberg. All you can see is its tip above the surface of the water. Using no other tools, you're expected to determine what the entire iceberg looks like. This is similar to what will be involved in my research. The key to understanding dark matter is to understand visible matter better. In my PhD work, I will study the motion of stars in large spiral galaxies. We will use some of the best instruments available to study the velocity of stars in the disks of these galaxies. An accurate estimate of their velocity will prove a powerful tool in determining the density of dark matter that exists in these galaxies. My PhD thesis aims to provide much more accurate results than what was previously available in the field. The fact that we know so little about something that makes up so much of our universe may seem daunting, yet it's exciting. We all have that innate curiosity towards the mysterious, and that is motivation enough for working in this field. So, the next time you look up to admire the stars on a clear night, remember, there is so much more out there than what meets the eye.